Uh, the median overall survival for the Tavosnibarum was 28.8 months, and the median overall survival for the Serafinibarum was 29.3 months. There wasn't any statistically significant difference between the two arms, but the slightly longer median overall survival for the Serafinib arm is intriguing. The reason uh, that this was observed was that in the design of the trial, when patients were randomized to Serafinib uh, and they progressed, then they were offered Tavosnib on a, uh, an extension protocol. The reason that we did this was for the benefit of the patients. We felt that the patients enrolled on the trial wanting this promising new uh, uh, targeted therapy and if they progressed on serafinib then we felt they should have it. The effect really was when, when we looked at the, the, the number of treatments that patients had on both arms, many of the patients that were randomized to tavosinib when they progressed didn't get any other targeted therapy. They were treated in countries where it wasn't available. On the serafinib arm, though, when they progressed on the serafinib arm, they had access to tavosinib. So what we found is the patients who were actually randomized to the serafinib arm had a higher number of treatments. Most of them had at least two or more, whereas the patients on the TiVo arm only had uh, one drug. And so I think the, uh, the takeaway is that, uh, you know, sequence therapy is, is better. Um, more access to more drugs is better for patients. The more drugs that the patients have access to, the better off their survival will be. I think that's one takeaway from the trial. And the other is the, uh, the fact that the survival with these targeted drugs is really uh, becoming longer for patients with advanced kidney cancer. Before these targeted drugs were available, the, the average survival was only about a year. But as shown here by the uh, Tavazib in this trial, with, with targeted drugs, the median survival is being pushed out to uh, uh, about 29 months.